Hello, my name is Jenna b o s i g e r and thank you for watching this episode on Studio b o s i g e r YouTube channel. On this episode, I'm going to continue painting the small night cityscape that I've been working on, but I thought maybe it was time that I better show some of my old cityscape paintings that I finished. Just to give myself some credibility that I'm even going to be able to finish this painting. So, I'm just going to briefly show you some of my finished cityscape paintings. And all of these paintings are currently available and for sale. So, this isn't counting any of my sold cityscape paintings, just my available cityscape paintings. And I just, like I said, I just wanted to show you these just to give you an idea about where we're going, where I'm going with this little painting, because I did make some changes to it. I was able this time to film myself mixing colors, and I did make one color change to the painting, which is that I changed the cadmium red deep. For just the cadmium red medium. It's not, cad it's not cadmium red light, it's just cadmium red medium. And it's much lighter, more, much oranger. And I realized. That I needed to make some changes to the. I wanted to make some changes to the drawing at this stage in the game, and I wasn't happy with the depth of the color. So I decided to kind of paint over it and look. I'm going to be doing that a couple more times, but I really want to focus on how much time it takes me to finish this painting. And so far, I'm at two hours because I, you know, I'm fast forwarding it for the video, but I, the real time for me mixing colors. Was 15 minutes, and then the real time for me painting was 28 minutes. And so, that equals like 40 minutes. And I, you know, wasn't paying much attention to it, and I always forget to time myself, but it's very important that I time myself. And this is interesting because. It is revealing all my secrets. And, you know, maybe I've been in denial about some things. In fact, I know I have been in denial intentionally about the amount of time it takes me to finish a painting. And、um, sometimes I can get it done quickly, but oftentimes it takes a while and That's why I really want to focus on not taking too much time to finish this painting. Part of the reason it's taking a little extra time is because I tend to rush putting the vertical lines in before the painting dries, and I, I should never do that, and I can't help it. It's really hard for me to resist that, and I did it again this time, but. It's hard to be patient sometimes when you're oil painting and to remember that these things need to be in layers. But regardless, I think I was going to probably need to make a few more changes still yet to the drawing. And I really need to even figure out where my point of view is, which I haven't even done that yet. So I'm going to definitely do that next time because I'm going to get more serious about trying to finish this painting in a timely manner. I think that three hours is plenty of time, but let's be on,、um, if I'm being honest with myself, it's going to take longer. It's,、uh, but it better not take more than five hours. That's all I know. Because it's, 
8 by 10 How much can I charge for it, after all, on eBay? So I'm already kind of, you know, pushing the limits here. So the next time I paint on this, I want to finish the painting and at least have it ready for embellishing. That is ambitious, but more than anything, I want to get this painting finished. But it is going to take a little bit of work. You know, sometimes little paintings can be the most difficult to make interesting, more difficult than big ones. But they definitely shouldn't take longer, which is, you know, definitely happened. It It is something that can happen with oil paints because when you dry and you go to paint on it again, it's really easy to just paint a completely different painting. And you don't want to do that. You want to finish what you start. Although, if you realize that you need to make some changes, then, you know, you do have the option to just pretty much start over at any point. And you don't really have that option with acrylics or watercolor because of the nature of oil paint. Watercolors and acrylics are less forgiving because they are hard to change. So that's what's going on. I've spent two hours on this little teeny painting. I need to finish, finish, finish. So get ready for that coming up. And again, you see where I'm going with this, with these paintings, what I, what I'm, what I do. And at least you know that I, I would like to hope that I'm not going to be painting on this painting for the next year. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. And until next time, bye.